let's rewind a little bit. Way back. one of very few decks which I liked. First of all, the condition of the heads is perfect and it keeps to the frequency response to the standard like has factory parameters. I've been recording on this deck, it records minus 3 decibel till 21.5 kilogers and on any tape type. Uh, what else? I pretty much liked the tape transport. Or it's very sturdy, lots of metal parts, like everything like tied together. Heads are have a spring, which keeps in, in position every time to keep azimut. Um, I spent quite maybe two more hours like uh, deoxidizing all this regulators so when I started the recording I mentioned that one channel was uh, jumping in the amplitude sometimes it record well sometimes it's uh, lower so I figured out that this rec level was a problem so I disassembled it and uh, taxidized it all together so they're all good now Dolby works perfect on this deck um, I'm pretty much excited so guys very very good example of Sony. I hope like when they've been all new, they've been working same perfect way. So let's let's do recording with Dolby C, right? Let's record something. I will be switching tape source here, tape green source red, with remote control, so you will be able to hear the difference. With more high frequencies.
least nice. What else? It's a very low noise level from this deck. You hear the tape hiss? Source. Tape. It's type to tape. It's TDK, say. Pretty quiet. You see? Really good results. I will think more. Probably I will replace capacitors in this deck to make it even nicer than it is now. Thanks for your attention. Hope you enjoy it. This Sony Dex is easy to fix, really. And the sound is, is very good. Considering the price options, guys, it's a very, very good sound from this Dex. Thank you. See you in the next parts.